quantum dots are very small nanocrystals of semiconducting materials. So the intriguing thing of a quantum dot is that the simplest explanation is the way that light interacts with the material. So the, the wavelength of light that it absorbs and then the wavelength of light that it will re-emit, so actually the color that you see when you illuminate them, uh, is dependent on the size of the crystal. I guess one big challenge in these is their um, cost. So they're very expensive to make chemically. So you, they're usually made under high temperatures, high pressures, you know, fairly toxic solvents. So uh, that really drives up the manufacturing costs of these materials. What we're doing is actually trying to make these quantum dots by a completely different method. And that's what by a method we call biomineralization, where we actually use uh, bacteria, or in, in this case, the enzymes secreted by bacteria, to, um, to create the dots instead. Uh, and this is really nice because it works at room temperature, uh, in water, and there are no hazardous waste products. And potentially, it's a much cheaper way of making these quantum dot materials. So many of the problems that we're solving now are really cross-disciplinary, right? Like this kind of technology is really, you know, it's energy, it's medicine, it's biotechnology. So, you know, working with students and having kind of an experience where it's a big group of students and faculty all working together, it's really a team effort. That I think is really important because you need that um, collaborative kind of cross-disciplinary research and really like where the students are in the lab working along with us all kind of side by side. I've seen lots of collaborations in my years but this one, I think, is a true collaborative exercise. It's really one where the three faculty involved all have very different research backgrounds, very different research interests, and very different expertise. And the project is only possible when all three of us work together on it. Um, and I think that's a really great sort of spirit of research um, for, for, for Lehigh. The remarkable thing about this project is uh, th and, and the, the PNAS paper, which has just recently come out on, on this, is that the, uh, the lead author is actually an undergraduate student and it was also one of my PhD students uh, who's a black belt at using the electron microscopes who did the, the characterization of the materials. None of us on our own could have, could have ever achieved this, so it's, it's been a fun collaboration and uh, one I hope carries on for a long time.